Boyos, Rich Boy J here back with another video. And today I am going to be unpacking Star Killer, working on Star Killer, reassembling Star Killer. So you guys know, took this thing to Brick Fiesta back um, the other day. So now I am uh, unpacking it. Got, I mean, this, this really shouldn't take super long, honestly. Um, I do plan to actually work on the mock. I have some tiles I need to switch out and some some other things I just need to take care of on the mock, but um, I'm happy that uh, the convention was successful. If you guys haven't seen my haul video as well as the mock highlights, it's some good stuff. You can check that out as well as the Beyond the Brick interview that actually went up pretty quickly. So I was happy to see that um, convention overall was a wonderful time. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this thing. So what's going on, everyone? Looks like we got some boyos in the chat. My boy Brian Riff, Isaac Stewart, Josiah Long Photography, Frank's Fantastic Bricks, Ryan W, Gen 2, he says, would you rather get nothing done and hang out with us or get a bunch done and not hang? I mean, the the implication with these streams, I feel, has really become me, like, I'm not going to get much done. Um, I think you guys have come to expect that as well. Like, you know, I try to work. I, I try to be somewhat productive. But um, the real point of even doing this in the first place is to be able to communicate with you guys, which is totally fine by me. Like, I mean, I have much time off the stream to work on the mock. So if I end up streaming and end, we end up just talking the whole time and I don't get much work done, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, it still means I got to engage with you guys. And that's, like I said, the important part of this. So... Either way, it's cool with me. If it's cool with you, then that's good. What's up, Empire Brick Studios? He says the chain link design for the J chain was genius. Yes, yeah. Um, Trevor did an incredible job on that, man. Trevor is Trevor is a boyo. Trevor is absolutely a boyo. I was playing Complete Saga that I got this notification. I'm glad you're spending your time wisely. I'll say that. So one thing I didn't do when I was packing this mock up is actually like group these. Uh, sections by where the heck they should go. I didn't like group them together by rows and I did do that this time. So it should be fairly straightforward setting this back up. Um, unfortunately, no, Trevor does not have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying, we, we, trust me, we were trying all weekend to get him to start one and I think he eventually will. He just doesn't have one at the moment. So I think it will happen at some point, just not right now. So I realize my computer chair doesn't fit over here, so I have to like sit backwards, which is, if you guys seem in an awkward position, that's why. Um, but yeah. Can I knight Trevor the best boyo ever? He's definitely up there. He is definitely up there. I mean, yeah, I mean, technically he does have a channel, he just doesn't really upload on it. Yeah, shout out to him, shout out to Ethan Network, shout out to Real Lego Man Productions. Um, we spent the bulk of the weekend hanging out, and it was a wonderful time. Yo, Jay, did you see that monkey fighting Sith Trooper design? I'm so hyped. Yeah, I mean, I think the design looks great. And we've seen the design for a while now. We just finally have, like, high-res pictures of it. And I think it actually looks quite good. It looks very cool, I think. Um, the name Sith Trooper intrigues me slash annoys me. I mean, we'll see, you know, what the Sith have to do with them, but... I'm just hoping it's not anything related to Palpatine. That's that's all I hope. Um, I don't know. Maybe in Episode Nine, Kylo Ren is taking that step into becoming a Sith. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think the design is incredible. I can't wait to get those minifigures. If you guys haven't seen, um, there was actually a leak of the helmet on the minifig. Now I can't show that off here, you know, on my channel. But if you go look in the right place, you'll find it, and it looks pretty sweet. It looks pretty hot. <laughs> in the words of Darth Jar Jar. Do I ever come to Dallas? I mean, I have family down there. I was there for Brick Fiesta a couple years ago, too. I'm sorry, Jay, but the Sith Trooper is definitely going to be for Palpatine. I know, man. I just... I'm still grumpy that Palpatine is, has anything to do with the phone. But um, what's going on, the Defender 888? I'm guessing you're from Dallas. Will Kylo Ren turn to the light side? I certainly hope not. I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. K 
can't say, but if you're streaming in an hour and a half, I'll be back. Um, and in an hour or so, I'm gonna actually going to have to go pick up my little brother from basketball practice. I'll probably come back and uh, stream after that. But um, this portion of the stream isn't going to last for a super long time. Brian Ruth says, Jay, if you accept Palpatine is in it, you'll probably actually enjoy his presence. I mean, I don't doubt that I enjoy his presence. I, I love the character of Palpatine. I just, I don't like the premise. I don't like the, I just don't want to see him in this film. Like, I, I mean, I, I mean, I trust that they'll find a, a nice creative way to include him in the film. Like, I don't think it'll be horrible. I don't think he'll make the film worse. Like, from an objective standpoint, I just think it's lazy that they're going to the Palpatine well um, to, to put him to put him in the film. I just, I don't agree with that. Um, Dan Dan sixty one fifty one with the donation. Appreciate it, man. He says, "It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground." Oof! I need like one thousand one by four slopes for my pillow. Dude, one by four slopes are not cheap. What color do you need them in? Need them? I guess various colors, right? I'm probably gonna have to ask for sets for Christmas because I'm going to a local comic con and meeting Ray Park. So I'm spending all my money at the con. Oh, that sounds fun, man. That's a, that's a good use of your time. Also, Jay, if you think Kylo's done for, who do you think Luke meant when he says no one's ever really gone? Um, I mean, he wasn't referring to anyone in particular. He was just saying, like, basically, you know, the impact that a lot of our characters have on the galaxy will always be felt. Like, Kylo was so hell-bent on destroying Luke, and he felt that that was going to be significant. I mean, and in a way it is, but Luke's point was essentially, like, even if you destroy me, like, what I stand for, what I fought for, will always exist in the galaxy. Which I think is a pretty cool sentiment, you know? Like, it it, it means a lot to us, you know, in a Star Wars sense, but I also feel like in a real-life sense. Like, all of us have known people in our lives who aren't here anymore, but our memories of them help them live on beyond you know, their physical form. So I actually really love that line. I don't love that they threw that in. I don't love what that line has kind of become. Like, it's a, they put it in, I guess, the Rise of Skywalker trailer. And now it's kind of like, it's like, oh, it's Star Wars. Anyone can come back, Ooh, whatever. But um, I don't know. Says, why do you think he said it to Leia after she said he knew Kylo was gone? Um, did he say it to Leia? I thought he said it to Kylo. Am I totally missing something? I mean, if he said it to Leia, I would still, I would still say that's 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 what he meant by it. Who's worse than Jago fans or Raylo fans? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any. I haven't had a negative experience with Ninjago fans. Papa Palpy should have died when Vader throws him in that hole in Palpy's throne room. I'd love to think that, you know, characters' de on screen deaths in Star Wars actually mean something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go all in on episode 9 before seeing the film. I just, from a marketing standpoint, I don't agree with Palpatine being a part of it. Jay, what ATRT design do you think is the best? I haven't, like, extensively looked at different people's ATRG designs. I know Enthric has a really nice one, though. Hey, shout out to Dandan6151 again. He says, no one's ever really gone. The millions of clones. I mean, apparently they are gone. We ain't seen them since then. Have I seen the leaked 2019 advent calendar? Yeah, that's actually, that's been around for a while. Um, it's gonna come with uh, Octo Luke, Fish Fisherman Luke, which I'm actually super hyped about because I love um, his character design from the Last Jedi. Every Jedi from Revenge of the Sith will come back in Episode Nine. Kit Fisto, oh my god, you think he'll still be smiling? Yo, can we can the May the Fourth figure be smiling, Kit Fisto? Wouldn't that just be beautiful? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I think that would just, that would really warm my heart. What if Jar Jar appears, no one is ever really gone? 
Me's not coming back. What's up, Tick Tiz? Oh my god. Kefisto would be smiling, but angry. It'd be an angry smile. Or he would be smiling, but he would also be angry at the same time. He would be angry that after all those years of training, he got wiped out by Palpatine in a second with a lightsaber blow. He, I guess he forgot how to how to fight with a lightsaber. That's the thing, right? Like, I'm fine with Palpatine just kind of mopping the floor with the Jedi. Because he's Palpatine, right? Like, he should... It should be whatever to him, you know? Like, he's clearly very powerful. No one doubts that. I have no problem with him killing Jedi with ease. But the execution in... Um, Revenge of the Sith left a lot to be desired. I would have much preferred for him, for one, to not have a lightsaber. Palpatine shouldn't have had a lightsaber. But two, if he simply was just like, like if the Jedi walked in and he simply, I mean, just like reached towards them and just electrocuted all of them at the same time. Like maybe Mace is the one who like actually blocks it because his reflexes are, um, I guess, better than the other guys. Maybe he, he kind of saw that coming. Or maybe he gets out of the way, but, like, Palpatine just instantly kills the guys with Force Lightning and just fries them right in his face. I think that's fine, but the idea that he just ran up on them and sliced them just so easily, it just it just looks kind of goofy. Um, oh my god, Jay, what if everyone is saved at the... Oh my god, hold on. This... Oh my god, Jay, what if everyone is saved at the end of episode 9 by that one Ewok that died in Return of the Jedi? Are you talking about the one that, like, they die and then the other Ewok is trying to wake them up? The, the Ewoks are gonna, like, do some sort of ritual? Hey, shout out to Brick Kid for the 499 donation. He says, and now, young Jay, you will receive a $5 donation. Appreciate it, man. Do you think that Advent Calories should be one big build that you build upon each day instead of many smaller builds? Um, I mean, they could do that, but... the it would for, it would either have to be a much bigger set or the the like the final build would just end up not being very interesting, right? Cuz I mean the small builds in themselves don't have more than like 10 or 15 pieces. So, I don't know. It's a it's a good idea, but I don't think it would work the way you think it would. If it was like $100 and maybe, but I mean, that's that kind of defeats the purpose. Advent calendars are supposed to be small builds. Have you seen the uh, leaked Sith Trooper minifig comment? Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. It looks pretty dope. And Tick Tiz, unfortunately, I'm not looking for moderators right now. The uh, I don't really need any new ones at the moment. But um, I assign them on a need basis, so if I need them, I'll make people mods. Just prove that you are here frequently and you adhere to the Boyo code. How about this, a minifigure-only cal calendar, like a CMS series, but in calendar form? That would be so... I mean, they would never do that, because that would be way too expensive. A set with... So it basically would have to come with 24 figures, which would make it... You know, if they wanted to charge, like, 3 4 $5 each, that would easily get it up to, like, an $80 to $100 set. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oom9 says, <laughs> roll of Sith Troopers, though, that will remain a mystery until episode 9 is out. I hope we see a little bit of them in the trailer, right? Maybe it'll become a little bit more apparent there. Uh, what's up, Brickwiz? What's poppin' B? It could be, like, a UCS advent calendar. That kind of defeats the purpose, right? Like, advent calendars are kind of meant to be for kids and to be accessible. Having a super expensive one, like, you may as well just make a set, right? Like... I don't know. Come at you live from Five Guys. Hey. I think the first meal we ever had together was at Five Guys, right? When we showed up to Chicago last year. It's OM, OM9. Why are there two O's then? Why are there two O's? OM9. It was Chicago 2018. Good times, bro. Good times. I can't believe we didn't go there once last time we were there. Dude, when I was at Brick Fiesta, I had in and out every day I was there. In fear of having my shoes eaten, shout out to Johnny Too Cool. Build question, am I the only one that really wants a UCS AT hauler? Um, I didn't think I wanted one until I saw Trevor's 
from the from Bed Brick Fiesta, and then I was like, that's it. That's what I want. I want one of those. All right, I'm going to swing around to the other side of this table. Three battle packs or advent calendar. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You mean, it depends on what battle pack it is, I guess. I'm probably gonna be moving the camera a lot this stream. You guys get to see the side of my head. Grinder says, I just really love that ship so much. Oh my god, and the regular Lego set kind of disappointed me. I thought the Lego set was fine, honestly. Um, but yeah, UCS version would be pretty dope. I mean, did you see the one from the video from my uh, Brick Fiesta mock highlights? <laughs> Me and Ethan Network ate five guys at Brick Fiesta. When and why was I not invited? Was it the day before I came? Bro, five guys is like the prototypical uh, Lego convention food, right? Arc 170, best ship in Star Wars, don't at me. I won't, I won't dispute that. It's not my personal favorite, but I respect any man who picks that as, their, as the best. I just wish we saw it do more. That'd be nice. Yeah, dude, check it out. It's it's an incredible. It's easy. I mean, it's the best AT hauler I've seen. Um, and as an interior and everything, I think you'll be thoroughly surprised and impressed by it. And yes, Five Guys is dumb expensive. It's all about in and out, bro. All about in and out. How good is the Rogue Shadow? Like the set? I thought the set was actually pretty good when I was younger. I love that set. What website is the best to find LEGO leaks on? Um, I can't talk about that on my channel. Um, yeah, that's not something I would publicly discuss. Like, we can discuss leaks here, but we can't... I'm not, I can't tell you where to go. I'm not going to promote, you know, places that leak LEGO stuff. Uh, for obvious reasons. So they're out there. I just, unfortunately, I can't explain them here. What's up, BFAB? I swear, dude, you were on it when it comes to these, like, new announcements. Like, I can get announcements. Like, I got the... I saw the stuff about the SDCC set. The, and I, I got home. And I immediately, like, started recording... And of course, when I do that, I'll like look and see how long the information is out there. So I'll look, look on YouTube and see, you know, how many other people have posted on it. And of course, BFAB is always like the first one. So, I mean, good job being on that YouTube hustle, bro. I had to pause John Wick 3 to check in, lol. Is that already on DVD? We were talking, I don't remember who it was, but someone recommended that I put John Wick in this mock. That might actually have to happen. No, I didn't think so. Did you just uh, snitch on yourself, Patrick? He says, I got a guy. Okay, gotcha. All right, fair enough. Wait, aren't you the, like, the cop? This is interesting. No, I want to talk about this, Patrick. What are, are you? Are you involved in illicit activity? I'm calling the F. Yeah, deputy. I thought so. I thought I remembered the name. SMH. What kind of example are you setting for the children in this stream? He says, "Nope, it's all good. I got a guy." Okay, I mean, all right. I won't, I won't question you too much. Keeping it legal. All right, that's good. Maybe he has like a theater hookup and he has like a guy working the projector. How high would you rate the Blue Yeti? I love it. So it's expensive, but it gives me the quality I'd expect. 
I'd recommend it. Anakin killed thousands of battle droids in episode one. Clanka lives matter. How many white two by two white tiles do you have? I have so many, dude. I have I have like two bo two pick and break boxes of them over there. I got one pad box of them over here. I still have a bunch on a crate. Like I have a ton. His own private theater with the movies. Yo, that would be so dope. All right, see you, EK Star Lord. If it doesn't clank, we sp what? I thought you never mind. I don't even want to. I don't even want to know. Where can I find Clone Wars? Been trying to finish it, can find it anywhere. So it was on Netflix. They took it off because it's going to be on Disney Plus. So I mean, I guess you can buy the physical DVDs. I think right now that's really the only way to watch it. Or you can wait for Disney Plus to come out and. The assumption is that it'll be on there. I think that'll be like November. You don't get the saying SMH. I really don't. You want to explain that one to me? It says, can't wait. No one sells the DVD in store. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you could find it online somewhere. If you really want to see it now. It says, in the UK, there's a Disney Life app. has all the Star Wars TV shows, full series for $4.99 a month. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. By the way, I got my sister hooked on both of your songs. I am so proud of my actions. I'm proud of your actions, too. I'm very proud. Say Clanka with a soft... Oh, my God. We're not going there. We are not going there. Ballistic builds. You're, I think you're going too far in a few places. Look, sir. Droids. When he say both your songs, but you have three. I mean, yeah. If it's not a droid, then it's getting clapped. Oh, okay. I was... I mean, I got that. I just... I assumed... You were saying it from a clone's point of view, because, I mean, you're a clone, right? In which case, droids are the ones you'd want to, to get clapped, right? No? Okay. Never mind. All right. Man, I got to show some love to Jarek. These TIE Fighters are the bomb.com. Shh, we don't mention that here, Jay. Oh, okay. I got you, bro. Found a good amount of episodes a while back on YouTube, but on a small screen. You can Google Durham County Sheriff's Office. Check out our dope recording recruiting video just if you're interested to see where I work. Um, sure, why not? Um, are you on Instagram? That's an easier way for me to remember to check that out. We need another Jarek type. Oh, there will be plenty of those, dude. I, have, I still have so many of those left to build. And I'm going to try my best to make sure they don't last for many hours. AJ hey, Ty's looking lit, pun intended. I don't get how that's a pun, to be honest. Explain that one to me, Ty. That one went over my head. That one went over my head like a t-shirt. What's up, Brick Limbo? My name. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Wow, you are so cool. Let's see. What is what is your actual name? Let's see if we can figure that out. Is Ty short for Tyson? Short for Tyler? Is it short for Tyresha? What is Ty actually short for? That sounds dope, Vibes. You should definitely film like a review or something. Ryan Studio says Tyler. I'm going to go with Tyresha, Tyrell, Tylan, Tyrone. That could be it. It's short for Tyrannus. It has to be it, right? Tyrannus, the Lego guy. It's short for Twin Ion Engines. Oh, Tan Bricks. Oh, Tan Bricks. Ty A, T A, Rich Boy T A, 
Tyler Santon, a Sith Lord. I'm gonna go with either Tyresha or uh, Tyrannus. Jay went to the Lego store, got so many dark red tiles. Nice, Tita. It's a weird one. My correct spelling of my name is Ty. It's Irish, but pronounced Ty. Oh wow! So Ty is literally just short for Ty. All of our guesses sucked. You just Ryan Johnson does. It's like, oh man, like his name is Ty. What could that be short for? We come up with all these wonderful guesses, and boom, it's just it's just short for Ty. Wow. Way to subvert our expectations, Ty. Is your last name Fighter? That'd be great. Unbelievable. It's outrageous. Yeah, let's out yeah, let's can we can we rename him? This is this stream is officially dedicated to renaming Ty the Lego guy. Some great news. The first Lego store is opening my country. I heard, dude. Congrats. Sorry, it's my grandmother's maiden name. Hmm, renaming. Eh. Oh, okay. I mean, if the name means a lot to you, I guess we don't have to rename you. If that's what you want to do. What's up, Cosmic Brick 44? Appreciate that, Patrick Clark. Um, if Have you guys seen... Um, I guess have you seen the most recent update... You will have seen the mock is actually coming together pretty nicely. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get it set back up. And yes, that is New Zealand. Zoo Nealand. Actually, I need to turn my computer. Everyone at the convention got a kick out of the fact that I had the pork giving a speech. All right. Let's see if I can figure out which goes where. Oh, I took a picture of this the last time so I could remember where the heck this needs to go. <sighs> Always up for different YouTube names as long as they're good. Just name yourself Tyrannus the Lego. <laughs> name yourself Ty the Lego Fighter. How about that? As long as you guys can't see me. What's up, ER Network Official? Ty the Lego Fighter. Ty the Lego Apache Attack Helicopter. <laughs> Says, anyone who watched Stranger Things Season 3, first episodes were dope. Should hide one of those kids in your mock. Um, that's a good idea. I have a set. We'll see how popular Stranger Things is at the end of the year. That's the thing about Easter eggs, right? Like, you kind of want to add them at the, uh, like, the, basically, when you finish the mock, right? Because there's, like, things that are relevant now, but won't really be relevant by the time the mock is done. You understand, you understand what I mean? All right, what's up, Spiffy Dark? Glad you came by to say hi. Right now, we're just trying to rename Ty the Lego Guy. Put their scared face running from a stormtrooper. That would actually be kind of funny. Maybe I could have them, like, I don't know, like, running through, like, the basement level or something. Like, so like a like a creepy area of the mock. What's up, Brick Bros? I actually have a really funny idea for an Easter egg. I don't know if I should reveal it here. 
you know what? Screw it. I will. Um, so someone mentioned like there has to be a trash compactor in Star Killer, and that's a great idea, right? Because you can put Phasma in there. Makes sense. But I was also thinking, like in the trash compactor, I'll put like a stack of prequel like DVDs down there. I'll put like the Clone Wars, like a, a stack of DVDs from the Clone Wars film down there. You know. The, uh, I'll put the Twilight down there, like a Lego box of the Twilight. Things that belong in the trash. I think that'd be kind of funny. I wonder how, like, how much hate I would get for that. It'd be funny, but I know a lot of people would probably take a fist to that. Not episode three, right? I mean, episode three would go in there as well. I'm, uh, it'd be all the prequels. Or put Clone Wars clones trying to escape. Mm, yeah. What vacation? Where'd you go, man? Put The Last Jedi to you. No, The Last Jedi is a good film. I'm putting bad movies in the trash. That's the point. It says, boy, Clips Graphics has awesome movie posters. I need to get some of those. They actually are pretty sweet. Not the Clone Wars clones. Yeah, I'll put a Clone Wars clone helmet. Build a prison cell with Jake Lloyd. Oh, that's genius. Bro, that would be so funny. I wouldn't put Jake Lloyd. I would just put young Anakin so it's more obvious. Like, I don't think I could, like, put Jake Lloyd. Like, put a Jake Lloyd figure and have it be obvious. But if I put, like, episode one Anakin in one of those, that would be hilarious. Says, you're going all in, don't put characters in the film, just put the whole film in there. Yeah, exactly. Just throw the whole film away. Says, can you just give me the disc? I want to watch the PT trilogy. I'm not going to get, like, a, a full-size DVD. I would just put, like, I would just, like, get someone to print, like, a, like DVD covers on tiles, and I would just put them in there. And then, you know what I would have? I would have, like, a First Order Stormtrooper. Oh, the other thing I wanted to put in the trash is, like, a stack of papers, and it'll say, like, George Lucas sequel scripts. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. That would be so funny, guys. RB says, if you're making Stokes hologram throne, you should make it Darth Jar Jar instead. I was honestly just going to make it um, Darth Maul, because why would it not be Darth Maul? Because Darth Maul's everywhere. Having the stormtrooper sweeping them up. Yo, that would be so funny. Yo, like, the trash compactor room is going to be hilarious. Like, uh, it's going to be a, a, a meme in itself. It'll be a good time, guys. Ooh, I like it. Put Kira in there, too. I'll throw Kira in there. I'll, I'll throw Jin Erso in there as well. Yeah, I'm 3D printing a dark saber as this stream is happening. Like a Lego size one or like a, a life size one? Just built a Naboo flash speeder. I actually love that set. Can we show some appreciation for the flash speeder though? Like for real, for real. Darth Jar Jar says orphans replacement doing sanitation somewhere in the box. I was definitely considering doing that. I need like a creative way to make it obvious that it's Finn's replacement, you know? Put the ah oh, Ryan Studios. That's not nice, man. We respect the Brick Queen here. It's a great set. I was gonna buy it in twenty fifteen and pass. I only got. I wish I got a few of them. I only got one. I actually like that set quite a bit. Put Luke's hand in it. There'll be a lot of like really funny things to include in there. Tom Hardy's cameo on the elevator. Have him smack in Finn's butt. Oh god, no. Put a battle between MNR and the Brick Queen. <laughs> I 
And yeah, did it really come with five figures? I know it came with like the pilot. It came with like the Nabu officer. It probably came with a gun gun. Did it come with two droids as well, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. Put the first order ATSC the trash. Oh, that'll definitely go in there. That'll totally go in there. How would you know if it was Luke, Luke's hand? I just maybe like have a lightsaber attached to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Gungan, two battle droids, two Naboo troopers. Okay, cool. Yeah, good set, man. Like I said, this is a flash speeder appreciation set uh, stream. Since I went to the midnight release for it at Toys R Us, should have slept through it. What did you, what set did you go for for the midnight release? This is definitely bigger than the trash compactor to New Hope if you can fit an ATST in there. I mean, I would do like, I would like try to like make like a custom decal or something like that and just have it be the actual Lego set. Um, hey, shout out to Chris Blake Productions. He says, and I can finally stay to watch the stream for once. I'm glad to hear that, man. It's, it's been a fun stream so far. It says, can I have permission to make a trash compactor for A New Hope, a standalone mock? I'd love to. I mean, you don't need my permission. Go for it, dude. Favorite AT vehicle? It's either AT-AT -AT or ATM 6 But thanks to Chris Blank Productions for the donation. Appreciate that, man. Jedi Bob says he's in the Houston airport. Dude, I'm still upset that you didn't come to Brick Fiesta. I don't want to talk to you right now, Jedi Bob. You broke my heart. Can you put custom tie next to Lego tie? For, I mean, they're basically the exact same size. I unfortunately don't have any of my Lego ties built anymore, but they're almost exactly the same size. Um, I need to figure out where the heck these go. I'll try to come next year if it's in Houston. I mean, it will be in Houston, but you should have come this year. It says, I love how Super Chat asks if you want it to remember your credit card information as if hackers have no interest in YouTube. I mean, if you have, if you use like Google Chrome, it'll ask for that. Do I still have a P.O. box for fan mail? I mean, technically, um, we can work that out personally if you want to send something. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this is it. If you boils have a meetup and the... Uh, in the airport, please let me know. That'd be hilarious. RB says, I'm sorry, Jay, I'm using Jarek's X-Wing for my next mock. Enders is a little better, but it doesn't have a parts list. Oh my God, bro, did you watch the video I did on Enders X-Wing? I literally, there's a parts list in that video, bro. Go check it out. You know I got the hookup. You know your boy Jay got the hookup. Yeah, and all the mock reviews I've done so far, like, I've posted everything thing you guys need to actually build that model if you'd like to. Uh, season 6 is definitely my favorite Clone Wars season. Bro, I wish I knew that. You should have a Stormtrooper Snowman. Maybe I could have that, yeah, like outside somewhere. Yeah, bro, you didn't. Even, you could have built it. You could build Enthers for free. You know, your boy Jay got the hookup. All right, man, you guys got me thinking about the. You know what? I'm gonna go get my flash speeder. I think I I just need it with me right now. You guys ever find yourself sitting somewhere in your house and you're like, I need company, 
But I don't want, like, family or a friend or a loved one. I need me a plastic boyo to sit right next to me. That's how I'm feeling right now. Here we go, guys. What's up, mock makers? It says, every time I'm playing Battlefront 2, I grab my fives figure. See? Sometimes you just need a little plastic companion. Here we go, guys. Shout out to the Flash Speeder. It's beautiful. It's perfect in every way. Jay, are you looking forward to working on the rock work behind the stage? No. Not at all. No. I don't know, maybe it won't be so bad this time around. There's honestly, I mean, there's a lot, but there's not as much as, like, crate, you know? So it won't be as bad. He gives me motivation. Yes. I love this thing so much. Close up. Yeah, sure. I'm, like, missing a few pieces on it because I, I post relentlessly, but it still looks pretty good. It has four seats, which is awesome. And yes, Crate had so much rock work on the outside and on the inside. It was just non-stop rock work. Do flash speeder ASMR. Maybe I'll, I'll make that video. Uh, uh. So how do you guys feel about that Sith Trooper boy? Is this display at a convention? I had at a convention last weekend, this past weekend. Um, moving forward, no, it's not gonna be at a convention. I will do my final video on it in December, and that will be the end of this mock. Whoa. What's up, Mythic? How you doing, man? Says, this afternoon while playing Battlefront 2, I came across a hacker that over the span of one hour game on Endor accumulated a thousand kills and 750,000 points. Oh my god, dude. Appreciate that, mock makers. Says, in the lore, it's Cardinal who is like Phasma but male. Didn't Phasma and have like, I mean, didn't Cardinal, like his armor was just red, but it looked like a standard First Order Stormtrooper armor, right? Mythic, let me know how Bricks by the Bay is, dude. Um, he says you can put Rose in the trash compactor. No! I would never, I would never betray her like that. Is the ultimate goal to become a full-time YouTuber slash builder? Um, that's not like, I mean, I would love to get to that point, and I, I guess I'm working towards it. But that's not, I guess, my my biggest priority, you know? It's, it's a big part of my life, and if, if I could attain that, I would be the happiest guy in the world, but... There's a few other things I'm working on. Finishing school. Stuff like that. It says, I'm still not down with my mock for, not done with my mock for B, oh, BBTB tomorrow. How much do you have left? It says, they're going to be Palpatine's personal troops because he actually has been the main villain the whole time. I mean, I hope not. He says, need a woman that supports it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing, ain't it? I'm sure she's out there somewhere. My wife hates my Lego addiction. Is it something, like, were you interested in it when you guys met, or did you kind of re-realize it since you've been together? What do you think about how Beyond the Brick uh, gets other people to make videos for their channel? I think it's fine, just feels a bit weird. I mean, I don't have any, I have a problem with the, the premise of it, right? Like, I mean, they film other people's mocks. Like, that's kind of the idea of their channel. So, it's not too far-fetched that they're getting people to do reviews as well. Um, yeah. Oh, she knew it has grown since then, though. I mean, how much has it grown, though? That's the question. That's the question, man. Do you think Star Wars The Clone Wars sets next year for Season 7? Um, yeah, I don't, I think, 
I mean, we don't even know, you know, if the Clone Wars is coming out this year. So I would say it's probably going to come out next year. So I bet Bazina Tall would support your hobby. Man, that's that's a throwback, bro. I feel like I haven't appreciated Bazine in a long time. A tremendous amount. Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> I figured as much. Thousands of dollars over the years. Some good money. That's some money well spent, bro. Some money well spent. Jay, would you ever join a lug? I'm actually in a lug. I'm in a local lug. Yo, I need to buy some more Naboo boys. That's what I want to do. If you guys haven't seen it, um, look at my Brick World Chicago mock highlights from last year. And I show off um, Lego Spartan Productions Thieve mock in there. And he had just so many like Naboo minifigs. It was ridiculous. And I was so jealous because they were awesome. It's been, it's been a year since the first Clone Wars trailer. Has it really been a year? Yeah, that first, I guess, Clone Wars save trailer, yeah. And yeah, I mean, Patrick, that's what it really boils down to me, boils down to for me. Uh, if you're spending your money responsibly, if you have the money to spend, like, yeah, like, do what makes you happy. How far before release date do Lego stores get the Rise of Skywalker sets? Um, not very far. Like, depends on what day it ends, like, the sets drop on, but no more than, like, a week or two. We basically just get them so we have enough time to, like, put them out. Because we get a shipment on basically the same day every week. So they send it to us early enough for us to have them for whenever they come out. So sometimes it may come a little bit earlier just because they know it's going to be a huge launch. So we'll get the shipments or the sets in multiple shipments. So maybe we'll get it like two weeks ahead as well as one week ahead. Or if it's not, we might just get it one week ahead. But we don't we don't see that stuff super early. Uh, most of the cops I work with actually think it's cool. No shame I game. See, that's what's up, man. Uh, I might apply for a job at the Lego store, Jay. Any tips on what they're looking for? I'd say customer service. Customer service, you know, people who um, understand what Lego is about, understand them as a company and the type of service they want to provide. Jay, you get a discount from the Lego store, uh, right? Yes, makes mocks easier. In a way, um, I still spend most of my money on, like, brickling parts, but it makes getting sets a lot easier, obviously. What I think of Lego, great company. Love working for them. I love the, the product itself. My, most of my life at this point is dedicated to Lego in some way. So I have a love-love relationship with it. I built giant mock cities with full lighting electronics. Wish I had could have the brass to break it and build a Star Wars mock. Dude, that sounds incredible. Can you, you, have, you say you on Instagram. Like, shoot me a message. Send me some pics. I would love to see it. Um, a large Lego city with lights that sounds incredible that sounds good to me how was my day being uh, it's been a pretty good day man went to work earlier came home recorded a video now I'm streaming it's been a good day man what's your tag I'm just Rich Boy J on Instagram so you can find me that way What's up, Dr. Phil? It's been a while, man. My Hogwarts Express fell off my desk, and now I need base plates. Um, why do you need base plates? Are you just... Do you think that's going to like prevent it from like rolling off your desk again? The only thing that would be better than the Sis Trooper Brick Bus would be a Jar Jar Brick Bus. Dude, Jar Jar Brick Bus would be lit. That would be so lit. Um, it says copy that. Let's keep it from falling, gotcha. Do you condone usage of permanent marker on Lego products? Um, generally, no. Uh, I, mean, I guess I made a joke about it in the 501st song, but uh, it's not something I would do. Uh, what's up, David Buchholz? What's going on, dude? Got ourselves a, a a mock celebrity in the chat. 
How you doing, man? You guys don't know David's the guy who made the uh, Brick Vault ATTE that everyone's going crazy over right now. So show him some love. It says, I may or may not have bought 400 knockoff Stormtroopers. I am ashamed that they are awesome. So, oh, come on, Patrick. Come on, man. That's unacceptable, dude. That's unacceptable, man. I'm sorry. I can't condone that. <clears throat> Did you see the uh, Sith Troopers minifig helmet leak? Yes. Yes, that thing looks incredible. What's up, JB? David, you're a G. Give me the instructions for it. Yes, David is a G. Bro, just buy battle packs. Were they, like, original trilogy Stormtroopers or First Order ones? My wife would leave me if I made them in Lego. I mean, if that's what it takes... That's what it takes, man. David says, thanks, man. You are the mock celebrity, though. I appreciate that. It means a lot coming from you, man. What's up, Tay Tay Films? Do you think they will make Legos? I don't know what you mean. I got five of first knockoffs. Jeez, guys. You guys have no soul. The special OP, or I just mean OT Stormtroopers, the gray camo ones. Oh, the like, the Mimban troops. I don't know, man. I just, come on, man. Come on, man. Think about the children. What would the children in the chat say? What's the goal for this building stream? Mostly, for the first thing is just to get this mock back together from Brick Fiesta. And then after that... Um, I want to, I had to switch some tiles around. I mentioned in the update video, I had to basically, like this one, there's just a ton of one by two white tiles on this, and it shouldn't be that way. They should be replaced with one by two light gray tiles. So I need to replace them. So as I have a kid, she appreciates the extra money for her. I can understand that. I guess I can understand that. I heard a guy at a convention saying it cost him $6,000 to build BrickVolt's ATAT. I was thinking he must be doing something wrong if it cost him that much to build it. Well, considering BrickVolt's ATAT is my ATAT sitting right there, um, I can assure you it does not cost $6,000. I can promise you that, guys. I didn't even know you had a channel, David, here. Let me go ahead and I'll open your channel in a new tab so I can remember to give you a sub. Would I consider making a Ryloth mock? Uh, if we got, like, more um, Twi'lek figures, more generic Twi'lek figures, i consider it. What's your favorite Lego minifigure? It's still the First Order Special Forces TIE Pilot. What's up, D. Al is it Dalfred or D. Alfred? Yeah, if we got more generic Twi'lek figs, I'd, that'd be a cool mock to do. Would you make a Naboo Palace mock? Yes, absolutely. It's an incredible location, I think. You'd love more two like figs. I mean, wouldn't we all? Like, let's be honest, guys. D. Alfred. Okay, gotcha. I'm not really active on YouTube, just a fan of all good Lego channels like yours and loving to design Star Wars ships. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that. That ATTE you made is just top tier. I'll definitely be building probably a few of those at some point. <laughs> No offense, Jay, but when I saw that fig as your favorite, I cringed pretty hard. I was not expecting that. I mean, it's a good fig. Are you, you going to argue with me that it's not a good fig? Jay, you're the one good man. I'm the one good man? I want to abolish all other men. <laughs> Jeez, man. There's some other good men out there, like Ryan Johnson. Have I met Just Too Good? No, I have not. I think it's a pretty great figure. There's Bale Secure, Babe Fortuna, Ula. I think Ula, we should rename Ula to Ula La. 
if one day you do a guest series again, what are the requirements to join in? Um, you basically just have to have Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is what you need. Show us the J Chain. We're both on screen. Do you guys want to see the J Chain? Should I go get them? Well, the Boyo Chain and the J Chain. Jay, please make Theed after Star Killer. I can tell you right now, um, Star Killer. After Star Killer is going to be in episode nine, mock most likely. Theed will definitely happen at some point, though. I think after after episode nine, you guys are going to see this channel kind of look into mocks beyond recent Star Wars canon. So this, I mean, I wouldn't even say Star Killer is really topical right now. It's just something I've been wanting to do. And I think I think this mock will be pretty special when it's done. Um, I think, I think I mean you guys have seen like the plans for it, but it's kind of hard for people to kind of conceptualize just how incredible I want to make this mock. But I think when it's done, like people, even people who don't necessarily care for the care for these films, um, will really like what I do. We want the bling. All right, guys. All right, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll be back. Yeah, give me 10 more likes. I don't know what that will put it at, but just do it. Do it for the pie. And yes, placing all the figures is not fun, dude. I'm so glad I had help last time. Don't know the approximate square footage. When the mock is done, it'll be six feet. This is a six foot table by, if that's what, like, it's like 30 inches. So let's just say it's like three feet. Three. Three times six, 18 feet. Six feet by 18 feet. Man, that's huge. No, not 18 feet. I did that wrong. Okay, maybe like maybe like 14 or 15 feet. All right, let me go. I'll go get the chains, guys. No, definitely not 18 feet. I, I don't think I don't think that's it. It'll be basically twice what it is now. Like the tables that I have. I guess you can't even see them all. Um, yeah. It'll be very big. <laughs> um, it's basically going to be... It's four gray base plates by 12 gray base plates. So yeah, it'll be right under 18 feet. Maybe like 15 or 16 feet. All right. I'll be back. I look for it. I don't really know where the Boyo chain is right now. So, you guys get the J chain for now. What dimensions did you bring to Brick Fiesta? I brought four gray by five gray. Yeah, four by five gray. I love how you make mocks that are not common like Varus and Star Killer Base. Appreciate that, man. Chris Blank says you and Garrett are collaborating on this. Yes. Um, Garrett has not been around for a while, but um, this is a collaboration of some sorts. And yeah, dude, this thing is so shiny. <laughs> it's so freaking sweet. Dude, shout out to Trevor once again. Like, this is, like I said, the best fan gift I've ever been given. And yes, screw Gucci. It's all about Boyo. It was nice to meet you at Brick Fiesta. My dad and I were the first ones to talk to you at the Saturday display. Okay, cool. Nice to... It was a pleasure getting to meet you, man. Didn't know there was a J chain. It's a little the Beyond the Break video. Congrats on that, by the way. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Would you rather get rid of the J chain or your favorite Lego figure? Oof. I don't know. Maybe my favorite Lego figure. The J chain is one of a kind. Favorite Lego figure. I can buy that again if I want to. Would you ever consider doing a video on your process for LED models? I struggled figuring out weird shapes. You know, so I've actually been working a lot on my first order transporter mock. 
Like, you guys are going to get a pretty significant update on that this weekend. Um, it might even be done. That's kind of my goal. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I was thinking, like, you know, if I, like, screen recorded this process, that might, like, help people. But I'm not sure, because my... Cre- it's, it's so hard to kind of document a creative process like that because so much thinking goes into it. And I spend so much time, like, going back to reference photos. I'm not sure how much of a cohesive video I could make it. But maybe I could do something like an LDD series where maybe I don't design a ship, but maybe I, like, go and look at a ship I've already designed in LDD just to kind of talk about it and go over some of my thought process behind that, like, in hindsight. Maybe that could help. Would you rather make a Star Killer style Camino mock or a crate style Hoth mock? I don't. That's like, I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Are you talking about like size wise? Like, would I want to make a Camino mock that's gonna be that's as big as this ends up being, or a Hoth that's as big as crate was? And Mythic, I don't get the joke, bro. You wanna explain that to us? Yeah, the transport is coming along very well. I'm. I've made a considerable amount of progress on it since Brick Fiesta. So like I said, it might be done by this weekend. Who knows? That's my goal, though. Put Fat Guy from Jurassic Park in the mock. Where can I possibly, like, find a place to put him in the mock? Did I see Far From Home? Yes. Yes, I did. Very good movie. It says, I've been searching the interwebs for the first, the best first order transporter at full confidence your transport would be the GOAT. That's the goal. I think I've I've implemented some uh, pretty cool techniques in it. What is best lock? Can you explain that to me? Best place to get lighting for Lego. Um, I mean, what I did for Vardos was just bought all the individual components from Amazon. It was cheap, and it worked. Gave me a lot of freedom. So, yeah. RB says, at some point you donate to get my sig fig in the mock and help out at Boyo. Yeah. If you ever find some extra funds, go for it. Uh, he says, oh yeah, um, Patrick wants to know what was the most I've ever spent on a fig. I spent like $55 on the original Django Fat, I think. I think that's how much I spent on that. Which Rogue One set do you recommend? Um, I mean, they're all very good, I'd say. The Ewing might be my favorite. Came from beyond the brick and you are cool. Thank. Shout out to Black Goku Z Yeet. All right, see you, Tambrix. Thirty bucks for a sealed revenue. That's actually not that bad at all. Do you use cat guns? No, I'm not a fan of cat guns at all. Actually, I think brick arms are ideal. Jay, what's the boil lounge? So, um, in short. For the people who donate to the mock, um, the people who donate over $50 specifically, you get to go in an exclusive room in the mock. Um, you're not going to see it until the mock is done, so it's kind of a surprise in that regard. But it's basically just a tribute to the hardcore, the most hardcore of hardcore fans who really go above and beyond to contribute. It's kind of a special thing I like to do. So um, in the finale video, I go over it and um, talk about um, everyone who has contributed that much. Biggest mock I've made was easily Crate. Andrew says, I went to the store you work at and found out it was the same week as... Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> JV Brick Fanatic, dude. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys heard that. You might not have heard it or seen it. But I think JV just donated $50.02. <laughs> Looks like JV has made his way into the Boyo Lounge very quickly. Uh, wow. Hold on, let me check. I probably got an email or something for it. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. JV, you monster. Okay, I just got it. Dude, holy crap. Um... It was so out of nowhere. Honestly, didn't even know you were still here, um, dude. Oh my god, bro. That boy JV Brick Fanatic. Holy crap. This I have so many like cool ideas for this boil lounge, and I think it's gonna be pretty dope. Um, Jonathan Jones asked how to contribute. Um, there's a dollar sign near the chat thing. You can send a super chat that way. 
That's the most straightforward way. Or you can use the link in the description to the Super Labs, Stream Labs. I said Super Labs. And you can contribute that way. Um, either is fine. It's up to you. Um, but wow, dude. Shout out to JB. Holy crap. <laughs> that just caught me like so off guard. I was not expecting that at all, bro. Oh my god. That's always the concern with the Boyo Lounge, right? It's like, will there be enough Boyos in the Boyo Lounge? And for this mock, like, there's actually a considerable amount of people who are close to or who have gotten there. So I'm actually super hyped for this Boyo Lounge. Especially, like, now that I've seen kind of the reception to it. Um, I want to make it even more special this time around. <laughs> so I appreciate that, JV. <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to have to make an expose video on you sometime down the line. Would you rather spend five hundred and one dollars for five hundred and one five hundred first troopers, or forty one dollars for forty one forty first elite core? I mean, those are both great deals, but five hundred first troops are worth more. So I guess I'd spend the five hundred and one bucks on five hundred and one five hundred first figures. How many parts do I have? There's no, like, I couldn't even begin to guess. It's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And yeah, dude, when I was younger and I didn't have, like, a brick separator, like, those weren't, those weren't super common. Like, yeah, you had to use whatever you could to get pieces apart. Now, honestly, I separate bricks with other bricks more often than I do my, like, a brick separator. For example, like, here's a, here's a boyo tip for you guys. So, I often find it to be the case where, like, oh, I can't find, like, a brick separator nearby. I don't know where one is. So, what I'll do is, let's say, for example, I have to get this monstrosity apart and, like, nails aren't long enough to wedge in there. What I'll do is just take another plate and you can basically just take the sharp edge of it and basically wedge it in there. And it will come right apart. Like, it's so easy. It's even easier than a brick separator, I think. So, there's a boyo tip for you guys. If you can't find a brick separator, if you want to just separate parts very quickly, um, it makes it a lot easier than having to, like, put your parts down, grab a brick separator, and then pick the parts back up. It's just, it's just so simple. So, hopefully I help someone out today. What's up, brick box? What's up, Brick City Whips? Holy crap, we got a few people coming through. Austin Nash says, I just throw the bricks away. I mean, you can do that, too. Like, that's totally acceptable. Appreciate that, Brick City Whips. What's your favorite Lego set that you do not have? Um, I'd say either the original Tantive 4 or the Republic Dropship. Would you ever spend two years on a mock? Of your choice with infinite money. I mean, yeah, if it was a huge mock, yeah, sure. Whatever it takes. If I, if I knew I was going to have to spend that much time on a mock, though, I would definitely, like, have other side projects that I'd work on in the meantime. That's a long time to work on a mock. Um, so I'm not working on any particular, like, new section on Starkiller. I'm actually just reassembling it from uh, Brick Fiesta. So I guess I'm going to have to leave in maybe like 10 minutes or so to go pick up my little brother. I'll actually probably stream when I get back because it's actually been quite a fun stream. But um, before I leave, let me go ahead and place these sections up near the front. David says, what's your favorite vehicle of each faction? That's that's a good question. So Republic, got to go with the Republic gunship, like by far, right? Um, the Confederacy, MTT. Um, and then AAT, I'll go with the AAT. Um, Empire, that's hard. Probably Imperial Star Destroyer. Rebels, either the X Wing or the U Wing. It's close, I don't know. Um, first Order, probably gonna go with the First Order Star Destroyer or the ATM 6. And for the resistance, gotta go with the resistance bomber. That thing is incredible. You guys post your favorite uh, ships from each from each era or from each faction rather.
Do I play Fortnite? Unfortunately not. I have not played Fortnite. I'm not much of a gamer. Gamer girl. I'm not a gamer girl. I want someone to mod the new Slave 1 to be Django's. That actually wouldn't be that difficult of a, of a mod. It's a color swap. Oh God. It says, did you ever give up plans to design a certain vehicle because someone else has nailed the design? Um, kind of. Like, I wanted to do a First Order Star Destroyer back in the day, and I gave up on it, really, because I just didn't have time to work on it at the time. And um, now that Commander has really such a good one, I probably wouldn't go back and do it. So, I mean, yeah, like, if someone has a good enough design, I'll just build theirs. I'm totally fine with that. If I feel I have something unique to offer, I'll build my own. But other than that, I have no problem with someone else's design if it's good. That's the point of the community. Some new slope pieces on the new slave one are only in dark red and white. So, yeah, that's a good point. That's actually a very good point. Those new, like, wedge slopes, specifically. Oh, the boiler chain was literally sitting right here. Here, I'll put both of them on. Jeez. Show me the money. It says gunship, Y Wing, Bomber, Malevolence, TIE Defender. Does Star Killer count as a shift? I don't think so, man. When are you gonna get more complete saga? That's a great question. I gotta see when I can get Cena back over here. He just hasn't been here in a while. Um I would love to, because that's like easy content for my channel. Um hopefully this week I'll get him back over here. We can record a bunch of episodes. We would have had more for the last session that we had, but my computer started acting up. And we weren't able to record as much as we would have liked to. Jay, would you ever design UCS Separatist Capital Ships? Um, I would love to design an invisible hand. I would totally do that. It would be very large scale, though. Like, it'd be, it'd be huge. Maybe, like, two tables long. Like, long ways. I think that'd be fun mock to do. Special Forces tie. Good, good, good. Have you had some good growth on your channel lately? Yes! Um... The most recent mock showcase video I did, like, blew up. It has, like, over 20,000 views right now, which is double the last previously most successful mock showcase video that I've done. So that was great. Um, oh, God. Uh, Beyond the Brick posted the interview, so um, that's giving me a subscriber bump today. Um, all in all, yeah. Channel's been doing really well this month, so I'm super hype about that. Um, it had previously dipped a little bit when I like miss. I was not really uploading consistently, but I'm I'm slowly working my way back to that. So that's always promising. Appreciate that, man. That's the goal, dude. Like I said, the more successful I am on YouTube, makes doing these mocks a lot easier. So I try to work really hard so you guys can get the most out of this building experience, you know. Have more funds to spend on it. You know, the more successful I am on YouTube means more time I can justifiably spend on YouTube. So, like, I try hard, man. I try. I try hard to make this channel successful. What's up, Hydrave? Been a while since I've seen you around these parts. How's it going, dude? Jay, what are your thoughts on the new Sith Trooper reveal? I think it looks great. Not crazy about the name, as a lot of people have pointed out, but um, I think it looks great. Do you foresee yourself doing YouTube full-time? I think long-term I can see it. I think long-term. I mean, it depends, right? Like, if my channel blows up, like, I'll take full advantage of that. That'd be wonderful, you know? I'd love to be able to just build and make videos. That'd be great. But um, not in that position right now not even close to that so i will continue to work hard patrick clark says has five percent phone battery we'll be back for your stream later tonight thanks for keeping it real boy oh you already know bro i gotta keep it 100 that doesn't sound good i sound i 
I hear a lot of loose parts in this. It's your favorite Star Wars movie? Definitely episode four. It says more successful on YouTube, the bigger Padme's apartment gets. If I had like a hundred subs, I'll t I'll do just the most ridiculous Padme's apartment mock ever. Like I'll build the full building from like floor to to from like the ground to to ceiling. Just do like a, a just a, a Padme's apartment mock that's like this tall. One day, guys. I know that's what you all want. <laughs> that's what the fans want. Exactly. Exactly. What makes you like episode four so much? What are the best parts? Oh, there's so many. How can I narrow it down? Um, the, my favorite sequence in the film is um, the Death Star sequence when they're like running around on it. I mean, that's such a good sequence. I feel like that's the most repeated sequence in all of Star Wars. Like, our heroes infiltrate an enemy establishment and, like, disguise themselves to kind of make it through. Um, so there's that. Um, I love seeing, you know, where Luke's journey begins. That's cool to see. Uh, it's, just, it's just a wonderful Star Wars film. Like... There's great humor in that Death Star sequence as well. I just feel so many things from, from episode 4 like set the standard for what we expect from a Star Wars film. And in other like Star Wars medium, like they always go back to things that episode 4 did. So, I just, I, I, I love episode 4. What's your most controversial Star Wars opinion? Probably that... Probably hating Episode 2 Obi-Wan. Honestly. Like, I say that around people, and they kind of, like, freak out about it, right? They're like, what? How do you not like Obi-Wan? I'm like, I don't just like Obi-Wan. I just don't like him from Episode 2. And prequel, everyone, you know, loves prequel Obi-Wan and gets memed all the time, but... I don't know. I mean, episode 1 Obi-Wan's kind of whatever. Episode 2 Obi-Wan, I actually hate... Episode 3 Obi-Wan is good. But that episode 2 Obi-Wan, man, not a fan at all. That's probably my most controversial Star Wars opinion. Kobe! Favorite Star Wars character is Luke Skywalker. Do I still play Battlefront 2 online? Uh, no, not since uh, I had to build crate. Thank God. I mean, it's fun. I just had such a miserable time trying to, like, get on that map. Got a dip, but I'll try to check your stream later. All right, see ya, Brick City Whips. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the kind words. When you gotta go, go pick up your little brother. Actually, like, right now, I was gonna try to, like, place this. Then I got a dip, like, ship. Uh, there we go. So that is almost a good to go. Hold on. Is it your birthday coming up soon? Yes! My birthday is actually this Saturday. Um, I can't believe you remembered that. But yeah, um, I'm actually probably going to do a birthday stream. I have to work late Saturday, but I think like I'll probably hop on and stream um, early Saturday. So, I'm going to have to end this part of the stream right now, guys. Got to go pick up my little bro. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back um, probably in like 20, 30 minutes. So, I'll see you guys then. It's a great stream. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. Hopefully, I'll see a lot of you on in like 30 minutes. 
I don't think I'll do a guest stream. Um, I just I want to be working away from my computer, probably most likely, and it'll be difficult for me to have guests on. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm full of surprises, right? But yeah, thanks for all of you guys for tuning in. So I'll be back in a few.